Hey everybody, if you want to stop using the Fred Flintstone version of getting your vehicle going, stick around and see today's product. Welcome back to the channel. This is Raf's Reviews and I am Raf. On this channel, I say don't spend your hard earned money on something that may not fit your needs. Let me try it out for you, help you decide whether or not it's something that you wanna buy. Today's video is not sponsored. I purchased this product on my own to install on my vehicle and decided I would give you a review on it. So today we're gonna to take a look at the Pedal Commander. Um, I purchased this for my vehicle. Uh, it's supposed to decrease the lag between when you press on the gas pedal and your vehicle starts going. Um, so if you didn't know some of the newer vehicles that's done electronically versus a cable, uh, so that's what the difference is. Now, I am not a speed demon by any chance. I'm not using this as a drag strip. It's just that our community is up against a very busy street and it takes a lot to get out into merging traffic. Uh, and if you don't have the kind of pickup that you need, you'll be there forever waiting for a space. So I used to have a 1500 Ram uh, Hemi, uh, which was very quick off the line, get you into traffic like nobody's business. I recently purchased the 1500 Eco Diesel version of that Ram, uh, and there's definitely some slow pickup between mashing the gas and how fast you actually start going. So the Pedal Commander is supposed to take care of that uh, by interrupting that signal to make sure that you get out quick, fast, and in a hurry. Uh, and there's four different modes, eco, city, uh, and two different uh, faster turbo type modes. Uh, so we'll give all of those a test and see what kind of difference it is. Uh, now, supposedly this does not void your warranty as if you were going to flash your whole ECU, but please do not take my word for it. This is just things that I have read. I am not a legal expert. I do not know if this does or does not in fact void your vehicle's warranty. So please make sure you do that research before you purchase one and decide whether or not that's something that you wanna do. Uh, without further ado, let's head out to the truck and give this thing a whirl. Okay, so this is how small it is when it is installed. As we said, you have an eco mode, a city, a sport, and a sport plus. Uh, now it does have an app, so that way you can control it with a smartphone. And then each of these has their own plus or minus for increasing or decreasing the amount of power for each of those, those ones. So uh, we're going to start by, we'll start by just turning it off. and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm gonna stop at a roundabout here. We're just gonna see. And that is 30 miles right before that orange car. So let's go in here and we'll get it turned around and we'll try out eco mode first. Pull in here and do a little turnabout. All right, so last time we hit 30 miles right before we got to that orange vehicle. So here we go from zero. All right, uh, so we hit it three cars prior to that orange one we hit 30 miles an hour so again we'll go turn back in here and make a u-turn all right so here we are back at our starting point again so the last one got us at 30 right about that white car over there so let's see what we get now with the city I can definitely feel off the line I feel that pull And we got just at that sign before that black car. But you definitely feel it pulling you into your seat uh, when you're accelerating. Uh, again, just trying to keep it like at a quarter of a press on the gas, uh, excuse me, on the gas pedal. 
because uh, again I'm not trying to like chirp the tires or win any drag races uh, like I mentioned it's just our road is kind of busy okay so here we are coming around back at the starting point so we were at that sign in that black car last time okay we've actually chirped our tires that time and just at that about that fire hydrant is when we hit 30 but yeah there is like I don't know if you can see me rocking back but that's from mashing on the gas while we're moving uh, and that's the sport so we still got one more to go with the sport plus get ourselves turned around here all right and here we go And there we go, 30 miles an hour right there. So yeah, definitely, definitely a difference in all of them. Um, as I mentioned, for me, um, I just been keeping it in city. That's enough for me to get out onto that busy road, uh, but it definitely does the job that I need it to do. All right, let's head back inside. Okay, so without a doubt, that pedal commander definitely makes a difference uh, in the response time to mash in the gas and your vehicle uh, reacting to those inputs. Um, so even all the way down to the eco level, uh, I could tell the difference of how quickly the car would uh, get up to speed compared to stock. So that it definitely works out great. So like I said, the eco mode is perfectly fine if you're just trying to get just a little bit of a nudge off the line uh, to compensate for some of that hesitation. Uh, the city mode definitely has some, some get up to it. Uh, I would probably say that's about equivalent to what I had in the Hemi uh, when I had it for that gasoline engine. Uh, and then once you got into that Sport and that Sport Plus, uh, you definitely uh, have unlocked the fullest potential of your gas pedal at, at that point in time. Like I said, once I moved to Sport and Sport Plus, that's when I would start actually spinning the tires a little bit when uh, mashing on the gas. And again, that was only at like quarter to maybe a half uh, depressed on the gasoline pedal so uh, for me that would definitely be way too much than what what I need uh, definitely not trying to do anything crazy uh, but even at that point you know just stepping on the gas while you're already moving you could feel yourself getting pushed into that seat uh, as it launched forward so uh, definitely say it, it works as advertised uh, it was not a cheap product uh, I will link it in the description below um, the thing that I would say that is a negative on it is I don't think that you're supposed to be using it. So, you know, when I was first doing research and it said that, hey, it's, uh, it doesn't void your warranty, uh, but that when you, get, when you buy the product and you look a little bit more into it, they say, although it doesn't void the warranty, you probably want to make sure that you don't have it installed any time that you go to bring your vehicle in for service. Um, so that tells me that it's probably not supposed to be installed. Um, but you know, again, do with it as you will. If your vehicle's already out of warranty, that's not a problem, but I definitely want to put that out there as probably the biggest con, uh, of the product itself. So, uh, the other thing is since it does have that Bluetooth, uh, capability, you can change all the settings uh, on your iPhone or excuse me, on your, your cell phone. So whether that's uh, because you've stowed it kind of out of the way, uh, you can still access everything on your phone. Um, I have it in an area where I just mash the button if I need to, but really it stays in the one of two modes, either in city uh, for when I'm driving around or in uh, economy mode when I'm pulling uh, something with the truck. And again, not because you can't pull with it, but you know anybody who tows knows that your, your RPMs can fluctuate if you're not in tow mode. Um, so uh, I don't want to add anything else to possibly spike those RPMs when I don't want them to spike. So uh, that's going to do it for this review. Hopefully you found it beneficial and helped you make a decision about whether or not you would want to purchase something like the Kettle, Pedal Commander for your vehicle. So as usual, please hit that like button if you found this review useful. Make sure you subscribe so that way you can see all the content that we put out on this channel. And hit that notification bell so that way you get notified anytime a new video releases. 
especially if it's something that you want reviewed. Uh, in the meantime, down in the comments, just put anything that you'd like me to try to review. I'll try to get my hands on that product. If I am able to get my hands on that product, we'll go ahead and review it for you. Other than that, thanks a bunch. You guys have a great one. We'll see you next time. Bye.